Hey, hey, welcome to another day at the Fendic Theater Experience. I'm Blake. I'm Sydney. Action! Today's performance target is, we will learn about actable actions and how we can use them to help us act the song. So we learned about verbs in school, but just a quick reminder, verbs are words that describe an action. But today, we're going to talk about action verbs. Action verbs express the action, explains the action to us. Now today, we are the actors, and we are going to use action verbs to help us with our work on A Million Dreams from The Greatest Showman. To make this a little easier, we're just going to start calling these action verbs actions, because that's what they are. Theoretically speaking, have you ever tried to convince your parents to take you to a fast food restaurant? Your favorite fast food restaurant? What did you try to do? Did you try nagging them by being like, Mom, Dad, can we go, can we go, can we go to McDonald's? Or did you try to negotiate with them after that didn't work, saying you'd clean your room if uh, they'd take you to McDonald's? Notice the two words, nagging and negotiating. These are actions. These are actions that I use to try to get my parents to take me to my favorite fast food restaurant. Now, these are just examples on how we use actions in real life. Now, we're gonna do an exercise. So I have Sydney here. Sydney's going to help me demonstrate this exercise to you. But before we get started, here's the first lyric to the song, A Million Dreams. I close my eyes and I can see a world that's waiting up for me that I call my own. Now, please take note of the punctuation in this line. So, Sydney spoke it for us, but I had the words right here. Notice that there was two commas and a period. So, that would mean that we would have three actions for that line. Now, if you're ever doing research on another song and you cannot find punctuation for the song in the song's lyrics, um, another way to find an action is by when you breathe in the song. Every time you breathe, there's a new action. So, there are three actions. So before we can actually do the exercise and choose our actions, we need to know, one, who we're singing to, and two, why are we singing to them? It's another fancy way of saying an as if. So Sydney, do you think you have an as if for this first line? I think I do. Okay, what is it? So I'm talking with my parents about what I want to do after I graduate, and uh, what I'm wanting to do is just take a gap year to figure out everything and just travel the world. Ooh, there's some conflict in there with your parents. Like, would it be like a difficult conversation to talk to your parents about that? A semi-difficult one. Okay, so, well then, there's something we can work with there. there. You can find a lot of actions that can go with that emotion. All right, so we're just gonna go, go right into it. What was the action you chose for the first phrase, which is, I close my eyes and I can see? I chose to invite. To invite. Inviting somebody, okay. Mm -hmm. You're inviting the idea in yes. to your parents, like, oh, it's gonna be okay. Um, close my eyes and I can see, and then what's your action for a world that's waiting up for me? To amaze. To amaze, nice, that's a great one. Um, and then your last action would be for the line that I call my own. What you choose. And that one is affirm. To affirm. Okay, nice. So you have three actions. Mm -hmm. Now this is what I want you to do, Sydney. Okay. I want you to look at your piece of paper with the actions on it. It's hard to memorize actions. If you come up with actions, write it down on a piece of paper. It makes this exercise a lot easier. So let me borrow your paper for a second. So what I want you to do is go to say your action with a to in front. Okay. So to invite and then speak the phrase. I close my eyes and I can see. And you repeat that with all three phrases. Okay. And then you're gonna go back and you're gonna do it again and you're gonna say to invite. I close my eyes and I can see. And sing the line. Okay. And then when you complete both 
times through, once with its speaking and once with its singing, you're gonna sing the phrase a cappella all together, incorporating those actions. Okay. Does I that make I sense? Now, the idea of this exercise is to get our brains thinking, to get our brains moving, mm -hmm. and actions give us something to do. So when we're learning a song and we're standing and we're singing it, it's just like, I'm singing a song because I like to sing this song. When we're acting a song, there needs to be more there. So that's what this actions exercise is going to do. So Sydney, let's give it a try. Okay. I close my eyes and I can see a world that's waiting up for me that I call my own. So now that we've seen Sydney do the exercise, I'm going to do the exercise as well, except I'm going to use these lyrics. Through the dark, through the door, through where no one's been before, and it feels like home. Now, this one's going to have four actions in it instead of three like Sydney's, because there's a breath between through the dark, through the door, and so for every breath, there's a new action. So, I came up with my as if, as it being as if I was singing a song to my grandmother to help her fall asleep. So, through the dark, my action is to elevate. Through the door, my action is to charm. And then my action four, through where no one's been before, is to spell out. And lastly, my action for, and it feels like home, is to support. So now I'm gonna give this exercise a go. Through the dark, through the door, through where no one's been before, but it feels like home. Guys, this is a very hard exercise. Sydney and I even struggled with it, and we were just doing one line of the song. Imagine doing it for the entire song. But I would like you guys to give it a try, with only one line in the first verse or the chorus of A Million Dreams. Remember, make your actions based off your as if, and give it a go yourself. It gets you one step closer to acting the song. In the description below, you'll find a link with a document full of possible actable actions that you could use for your very own action exercise for A Million Dreams. Instructions on how to send in your creation are also in the link below. Make sure to like and follow our Facebook and Instagram and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for learning and creating with us. See, See you in the, the next, next one. one.